Okay, this sermon is entitled, Grace Haters Have No Business Celebrating Thanksgiving. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 78 reads, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. Now, when I say grace haters, that includes the stupid lordshippers out there, these anti-easy believists, and works trusters, anyone who hates the free grace message. Such people have no business celebrating Thanksgiving this year because, number one, they have nothing to be thankful for. Now turn over to John chapter 4. These people have not received grace. They have not received the gift of eternal life. They have not received salvation. And in John chapter 4, what we get from this is that all saved people understand that salvation is a gift. And we see this in verse 10. Let's jump back to verse 9. And it reads, Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that said to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Now, do you ever see a grace hater asking for the gift of eternal life, or receiving the gift of eternal life, or thanking God for the gift of eternal life for that matter? Absolutely not. These people are a bunch of stupid retards, stupid idiots, a bunch of unsaved ingrates. They won't receive eternal life the Bible way. They want to receive it their way. And instead of simply trusting Christ for eternal life, these people would rather be labor about serial killer rapists who live like the devil. And when it comes to Thanksgiving, these people should just sit at home on their stupid duffs, twiddling their thumbs, picking their noses, and fart around because they have no business celebrating a time-honored holiday that is to express thankfulness or gratitude, and they would be better off just farting around. Now turn over to Luke chapter 18. Here's the only thing these stupid, unsaved grace haters are thankful for, is that they're not as bad as other people in their own eyes, but yet in God's eyes, they're just a guilty sinner like everyone else. Let's take a look at verse 10 and it reads, Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, this would be the grace hater. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Now, what is he thankful for? Is he thankful for forgiveness? Is he thankful for eternal life? Is he thankful for grace or salvation or any of the benefits of being born again? Absolutely not. He's thankful that he's not like some other sinner. This guy's nothing but a puffed up, prideful, bumptious, cocky, top lofty, boastful, uppish, supercilious, high and mighty, high handed, condescending, overweening, conceited, pompous, arrogant jerk. And that's all he has to be thankful for. Now turn over to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and we see what the true believer has to be thankful for. And they have every right to celebrate Thanksgiving. It reads in verse 57, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we're thankful for. We're thankful that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and rose again. And that we get the victory through him alone. And it's not based on anything we do. And it's a free gift. And that's not what the grace hater 
embraces. They're all about themselves and their own works. And therefore, they don't have a holiday to celebrate. They have just another day to waste and to fritter away in their pride before they drop into hell. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.